What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be making something that to be honest I've been wanting to make for about two years now and frankly I don't think I was experienced enough to do it up until this point and so that's why I haven't been able to get to it. It involves a lot of steps and if you do any of them wrong I feel like it's just not going to turn out exactly how I want it to but I've gained a lot of experience with resin over the past year especially I've really focused heavily on doing a lot of it and so the goal today is to make a ring that's really similar to the secret wood rings if you're familiar uh, with those but I wanted to make it in a more traditional ring shape just like this so it's a lot more um, just wearable so it's not getting in the way um, and so the idea is I'm going to use wood shards and that's just kind of like the whole theme behind it and then I'll stack it all up in this mold here and then we'll use a technique that I'll explain right now to try to, try to get a cool, uh, just like overall effect. It just gives like a really cool scene, just kind of like a mountain-esque or something. So that's, that's the goal here. So I'm going to start off with the wood. We're going to, I'm going to put it in the vise, clamp it in place, and then I'll kick it and it should give us some shards. And then once I have the shard, I'll stack it up in the mold like this. And then once I have the mold filled up with that, I'm going to put a layer of white glow resin on top of that. And that'll coat the shards of wood and kind of give it a, just kind of looks like snow or something similar. And then I'll just use clear resin to go over that. And then at that point, I will swirl in some flowers here. And I want to go with more of a pink color palette for this one. So I'm going to go over this pink and then brighter like fuchsia color here. I think I'll mix those two flowers and we should get kind of like a Japanese cherry blossom look is what I was thinking. And then I'll swirl in some streaks of uh, violet and white dye. And so overall, it should be a cool effect, but pretty much I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. You guys will kind of pick up along the way, um, but let's go ahead and get the vise out and start breaking some wood. So now that gives us our first two pieces, one and two. We can stack together like this inside the mold. I just kind of keep filling it up. And I'll maybe just keep going until I have some really nice uh, variety of these shards, I guess you'll call them. So I'll just do a bunch of them and then I'll just pick my favorite ones and that's what we'll use for the video. Love that, this, that looks perfect. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna measure out equal halves of my resin here. Now, just mix in a bunch of glow powder. This will glow white. All right, I've got that all mixed up. I've got a ton of glow powder in there. Now I'll just slowly drizzle it over all of this. So I think we were left with some good results. There's kind of some bubbles in it, um, but I think that won't really matter. In the future, I could definitely avoid it. So if it really has too harsh of an impact, I could probably just redo it. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a few of these little flowers. Okay, that should be good. Now I'll mix up some clear resin, and then I'll put in the rest of these, and then I'll use this needle to try to poke them in place. clear resin in place. I've got it almost to the top of the mold here and I think that'll be plenty of thickness. Now I'm going to go in and add the rest of these flowers.
All right, I mixed up just a teeny bit of more clear resin. I'll add a drop of white. need to wait, let it cure, and then I'll cut into it, and I'm excited to see how it actually transforms into a ring. Okay, update time. It's been about a month since I cast this original piece, and as you can see, this is just full of bubbles everywhere. Big bubbles, not, not just little ones. So I didn't get this in the mold or the pressure pot as soon as I should have, and so I had to redo it. Essentially use the exact same process and techniques. This time I used a blue uh, dye to add to it, but this should give us some very similar results. All right, I used the drill press and the belt sander to give ourselves this rough ring blank shape. Now I'm gonna take my expanding ring mandrel. And if you've been looking for these on our supplies website, we were sold out for a little bit. We just got a bunch more back in stock. So uh, we've got plenty of those available there. But just gonna clamp it in place, trim it down, and uh, we should be pretty quickly left with a really cool looking ring. finish looking pretty good. This is all just with sandpaper. Now it's time to bring out some shine. So I'm going to do a super glue finish for that. It looks amazing. I'm really happy with this so far. I didn't get any of the really wider blue wisps showing up, so I'm kind of disappointed about that. I might have to do like a secondary version. But so far this is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the inside because that's kind of ruining the appearance of it in general. So I'll finish up the inside and then we'll check this out at the end. I'm done with the inside. The outside finish should be protected. I put this tape over it. Let's see how it looks. It's looking really good, actually. 
So that's the ring guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun. There's just a lot of new techniques to apply here, shattering the wood. That was fun and interesting and trying to get it to show up in the finished ring was a challenge and I think we did a pretty good job of it. Um, overall, I'm not 100% satisfied with the ring. I just know that there's a lot of interesting and cool details that we had in that first block that didn't completely carry over to this. And I think it's mostly just due to the frequency at which I had like the wisps and the flowers that are in it and stuff like that. So I just need to add a little bit more but this has a lot of potential, so I'd be really interested in hearing some of your guys' feedback. If there's anything you'd like to see me do, whether it's add to this design, do something different, maybe a different species of wood, uh, tint to the resin, anything like that, I would seriously love to hear it because this is something that I'd love to uh, do a follow-up video on. If you've got any questions or wanna follow me on Instagram or any other social medias, I've always got links to those in the description, so check that out. Other than that, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.